the vi the documentary about you personally, and then the last bit is really getting your um re your recycle story. Um, so my first question for you is, who are you? Mm -hmm. um, uh, well, I guess I would say in the context of relative to your interview, mm -hmm. um, I have been a, a very dedicated um, visionary and pioneer of the eco-fashion movement. Um, I have, I consider myself a, um, a business person who uses business as a vehicle for transformation, mm -hmm. um, and uh, I've spent the last two decades um, spearheading uh, consumer product and other efforts, uh, building brands um, to, to ultimately revolutionize industries and shift paradigms, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. all of my efforts are built on uh, people, planet, profit, passion, and purpose. Okay. Now, hmm. Okay. 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 But if you want, like, a very specific, like, what's my title? <laughs> yeah. Uh, bo both of those details are very helpful. Um, professionally, who are you? But this also gives a good sense of who you are as a person. Um, training, background, um, I think those things are equally as important for the interview as well. Okay. And I can, you know, I'm happy to send you guys a bio too, sure. but um, I guess my, you know, my, I have, essentially I have um, three key titles. Mm -hmm. One is um, I am the Chief Marketing and Sustainability Officer, you can say CMSO, right. of the Portico Brand Group. Oh, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And I am founder of two of the three brands in the Portico brand group. Uh, one of the brands is called Under the Canopy, mm -hmm. and one of the brands is called FACE, F-A-S-E. It's an acronym for Fashion, Art, Soul, Earth. Gotcha, gotcha. And then, uh, and, I'm the pro and I'm one of the, you know, key producers of the documentary thread. Interesting. Um, as a... Almost as a precluding question, what brought you to fashion, and specifically green fashion? Well, I, I started my career um, actually in health and nutrition, mm -hmm. and I, I co-founded a school called the Institute for Integrative Nutrition. Oh, wow. And... Um, and we had within the school, in addition to a professional certification program mm -hmm. for holistic health coaches, we also had an Aveda concept salon in the early uh, early 90s. So I was um, a strong educator and advocate of the food and beauty movement. Mm -hmm. um, and I saw a missing link in that wellness equation when it came to uh, textiles, fiber, fashion, and apparel. And so um, when I went to explore that further and I kind of go deep into the supply chain to figure out, you know, what, if anything, existed around, you know, environmentally friendly or sustainable fashion, I was very disillusioned and I didn't... Um, I didn't see anything that I would wear, and I was a fashion consumer. Mm. So I decided, given my decade of experience in the organic and natural food and beauty industries, mm -hmm. that I could translate what I had learned into fashion, mm. and I coined the term eco-fashion in 1995 and trademarked the term, and then um, decided to create a market um, and a movement that fused ecology or ecosystems or environment with fashion and, mm -hmm. and that meant style and quality and fit and color and comfort and to demonstrate to consumers that they could find what they love and seek in the way of true fashion um, but not at the expense of social and environmental responsibility that gotcha. those two worlds are not mutually exclusive they can actually coexist gotcha.